Hello and welcome to these reflections. Today, Christ is born, praying with the icon of the Holy Nativity. My name is Brother James, and we're here in the chapel of the Monastery of the Society of St. John the Evangelist in Cambridge, Massachusetts. So we finally come to the Magi, who we see up here in the top of the icon. We see them on the left, on horseback. And we're familiar with the story of the wise men, the Magi from Matthew's Gospel. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent, to them, then he sent them to Bethlehem saying, go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word that I may go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. It's that last verse which fascinates me. They left for their own country by another road. Clearly, that verse also fascinated our founder, Father Benson, who wrote, they had come to him who was himself the way and the truth and the life. None can come to Christ at Bethlehem and go away as they came. The road along which this company of travelers went was itself a type of the spirit with which they went. How careful ought we to be when we have come to Jesus that we do not go that we do go forward by a new and living way, not by the way which we came. God leads us onward. Christ is the end of all earthly ways. They who come to him are seeking a heavenly country and desire not opportunity of returning to the old from whence they came out. This is true even when we return to the old world. Our coming to Christ changes everything. And therefore, even to the old scenes, we return with changed hearts and new powers. It is indeed a greater thing to return to the old world by a new way of heavenly life and to live, therefore, in the world as those who have been with Jesus than it is to enter upon new spheres of life, but with an old heart. That would be to set about new things in an old way. The necessary thing for us is rather to set about old things in a new way. None can come to Christ at Bethlehem and go away as they came. Our journey to Christ through this icon has changed us.
we are not as we were a few days ago, a few hours ago, even a few minutes ago. Our coming to Christ has changed us. Because in Father Benson's words, we have been with Jesus. And because of that, everything changes. In scripture, every encounter with Jesus brought the possibility of change to others. Healing, forgiveness, restoration. Only where there was resistance did people go away empty and unchanged. Over these videos, you and I have been with Jesus. And now we go away. Changed. That may not be clear at the moment. You may not know how you have been changed. But the reality is, you have been changed. You now know the reality of healing, of forgiveness, of the presence of God in your life, of the presence of others who have brought God to you. You now know the strength that comes from feeding on Jesus. Perhaps you know the softening of your heart or the gift of peace. Our coming to Christ changes everything. So as you pray with the Magi, pray for the gifts you need today in order to be changed. For the gift of healing, for the gift of forgiveness, for the gift of strength, for the gift of softening, for the gift of peace, for the gift of faith. And know that even before you ask for them, God has given them to you. Know that even before you have asked, God has given and you are being changed. Our coming to Christ changes everything. And so, like the Magi, we return home not simply by a different way, but as a different people. So my prayer for you is that as with the Magi, you will discover in yourself a changed heart and new power, a heart full of love full of love for God, full of love for Jesus, but also full of love for yourself. Our coming to Christ changes everything.
rejoicing in the gifts of God, let us pray as our Savior taught us, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. <laughs>